Okay, it's time for another review. This time it is the Portrait of Pirates Bikini Nami Version Blue Limited Edition. Ooh. Or, in other words, an excuse for them to charge you more money. Yep. But anyways... It's got a nice, uh... Beachy theme to it. Oh. And, also... It comes in this, uh... Mega Tree Shop box. Which is kind of interesting. Let's see, item number 1007 01. Limited edition Nami. And it says something there in Japanese. And more stuff in Japanese. And recycle. Whatever. And nothing. And something on top. And nothing on the bottom. Wasn't that in interesting? Anyways, I should get on to the figure now, shouldn't I? And eh, here's the figure then. And... Yeah, it's a pretty nice figure. Uh... Yeah, I, I quite like it. First thing I should note is that the hair has got like a glossy paint job to it. I guess to give it a wet look. Which I kind of didn't know what to think about at first, but it kind of grew on me. So yeah, it's, I kind of like it. It looks pretty nice. And, uh, it's got these bead thingies. Of course, there's her tattoo. And, got some, uh, sparkly doodads on the bikini there. And,. Don't can't really tell, but uh, you can kind of tell. But there's uh, fingernail paints, and yeah, it's a nice bum shot for you, sticking her butt out. And, well, yeah. And, uh, let's see. How about a look at the base? And also, of note, she stands on her own. I did not expect that. Considering that she's leaning over, she balances a lot better than a lot of the POPs that stand straight up. Anyways, the base is kind of interesting, yet also kind of boring, because it's clear, it doesn't have any color to it, but it has her personal Jolly Roger on there, instead of just the same old straw hat one. And it says Nami, of course, and then it says Portrait of Pirates. For some reason. So, yeah, that's interesting. Although, apparently, the new colors that they're coming out with have color bases now. Which is kind of dumb. Because they should have come out with that in the first place. But whatever. One color is enough for me, thank you very much. 
But yeah, it's a nice figure. Hmm. There's not that much to say about it. I kind of I kind of hope that they continue this line. Obviously, there's the Boa Hancock one coming out soon, which I will be getting, of course, because Boa is like my favorite female character from the series, I would say. But so far, like Robin or anyone like that hasn't been announced yet, so we'll just have to wait and see, but for now, this one's really, it's really nice. Of course, you'll have to pay over a hundred dollars to get her, but I'd say it's worth it. Maybe. Yeah. I like it, even though it doesn't really come with any accessories at all. But that's pretty much it for this review. So, yeah, see you later.